Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another round, Ground Radio, episode 88. And, well, I guess I just logged off and then waited a day and then logged on, and I got this without even realizing. It's increased the duration of all spells based on called arms activity in time in this reincarnation. Is this really worth it? Probably not. Also, I noticed that this research required 15 days time spent in neutral factions. So, yeah, that's good that I got that one out of the way. Um, I guess, yeah, so I, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm really just going to make a new research build. Or, I mean, it's going to be related to the one I have before. Still going to be, you know, drag tan and everything. And I can buy Max instead of buying Smart. And uh, let, let, let's see how far I can even get here. Oops. I want to do it like this. And so I'm not going to just like purchase research at this point. I just want to modify it to see like which ones are better. Like I want to get um, the good ones. So well, let's see. I, I know I know I'm going to keep S500. So that's good. I know this is one of the new ones I will want to get. This one, um, oh yeah, it was like 40%, or it wasn't very good, I don't think. So, I'm not going to get that one. This one wasn't very good. This one, I don't know, it, it really depends if it's multiplicative or not. Um, this one, it's 200% faction coins, that's probably worth it to get. And this is based on, like, called arms activity in the reincarnation. No, I'm not sure. I, I, I guess I'll just get the dragon stuff. This should um, be very powerful. Oh, okay, it depends on what it is. White, I... Um, oh, it's, ba it's based on the time spent being neutral in the reincarnation, and that's... Well, I've been neutral in the reincarnation. I don't know, actually not that long. But, yeah. There is this, increased max mana based on the amount of clicks made in this game. So, oh yeah, it was like, you literally just click more and it goes up. I don't really think that's worth it. And now I have a new strategy for, like, re, or not redoing, but like, you know, buffing the research bills based on, like, the new researches. And this is just... I'm going to exit full screen. I'm just going to kind of do this part um, off camera. It's not really exciting. It's just choosing which one of like of each branch are the worst and like dropping them. I also forgot that this existed. But for higher tier spells, no, that's just not worth it. My mana regen is already fine enough and everything. I forgot about the, the C researches here. Um, this one's really good. It's Is it... This is really a 40 times production boost. That is, like, huge. Like this, let's see, it's 280. Yep, 981. It's an actual 40 times production boost. So, obviously, that one's going to be extremely good. And is there any, I think, I think I've looked, yeah, I've looked at these. Um, this one, I don't think, it's like plus 25% Royal Exchanges. Or, it's, it's actually from the Royal Exchange bonus um actually that could be good because if we go here to royal exchange 106 percent that could be really good I'm, i think i'm actually just gonna get it um what is this now still 106 i don't know i'm not sure if that's good or not maybe i got scammed or maybe this was 106 percent but then it gets nerfed. I, I have no idea. I didn't even see here what this did. I really don't know. I I mean, the fact that it's E86 seems like a good sign, and that I will keep it. I also somehow forgot this branch, which is increase the production of all other buildings by 3.5% per worm's tent. That Even with this ginormous percentage, it may not be worth it. I mean, again, it depends on this. 
Yeah, this one's still better. The rest is just going to be dropping the worst of each branch. So yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I've, I've done it and I made one mistake, which is C500. This is actually not 58%, it's more like 10%. Um, C135 is better. So I'm, I'm going to save this. I'm just going to call it Reincarnation 52, even though this is 53, just so I can make the actual Reincarnation 53, which I'm going to edit using a text file, and then just change 500 to 135 for the C branch. Um, okay, now I have abdicated, and I can get, I've, I've, I've edited it in a text file, and then copied and pasted it. We're just going to get we're gonna get rid of this, and then import this, and you can see C135 instead of C150, and I guess I need to save this as um, its own build, and then I can just load this or import this, and actually, like, even the last build, the, the worst one, still is enough to get me all the way to enough gems to reincarnate. Actually, almost enough gems to re- No, it is enough gems to reincarnate twice. Like, that's how crazy it is. But, yeah, we're gonna import. Import? No. Uh-oh. And I don't know what's happening. Why? Don't I have C-1300? Crap. What is this? I don't know what happened, but it just didn't import correctly. Now you're gonna save this. Maybe it's, oh, uh, maybe, you know what I probably did? I probably like imported it and then saved it prematurely so it didn't have those good ones here. So now this is our actual research build. And then export this, okay, finally. And now you can see, yeah, we, we have 8,000 of every building and I got, eight trophies out of that because 7,500 of the certain building. I can get all the way up to E50 gems and you can see I now have three Dragon's Breath boosts. So this alone is going to be enough to reach reincarnation like 57. So like that means that, that that's a very good sign. Like I don't even really need to do so. Apparently there is something at 55 but um, yeah, I've heard at Reincarnation 60, there is, um, something even bigger happening. I'm not, I don't think this will take me all the way to 60, but, you know, okay, we're gonna reincarnate anyway. So, but let's see, there's a new challenge, this is the one that, wait, no, I, I thought, wait, didn't I already see this challenge? It says Reincarnation 51. Is there a new challenge that I just don't see? I don't, I don't know, and there's nothing new here. Um, I don't, I don't know. Well, I'll just get through this reincarnation, and then, and then I guess I'll just do the challenge in reincarnation 55. I don't really see. I don't know, like druid, dragon. It's just like generate man. Oh wait, I also need to have grand balance effect. Yeah, we, we'll, we'll just focus on that when we get to Reincarnation 55. See you in a bit. Okay, I'm back at the end of Reincarnation 55. You can see right now I have some really OP things. Actually, you know, targeting Labyrinth. I swear it was targeting, like, Worm's Den, like, right before. But the Dragon's Breath bonuses are also really, really good here. And you can see with this build, I can probably push all the way to, like, Reincarnation 60. Like, if, if I am willing to wait a little bit in those last few. But anyway, we're going to go over these challenges now. So I need um generate at least E10 mana in this game and have grand balance effects. At least seven buildings. I actually looked at this. It's actually this bonus that's based on mana produced in this reincarnation. So again, I want to make a mana regen build. So let's just abdicate first. And apparently I was supposed to do it this reincarnation. Maybe there's an artifact related to it. that I have not excavated yet. That's another thing. So of course go Druid line, and for this challenge I need to go um, Druid as base faction. So yeah, let's do this. Um, I guess I could start 
making or having buildings. And again, just just focus on mana regen at, for the build. And it's going to be similar, I think, what I did before with the mana regen. So I, I don't really need to like you know um, go over like every single research and everything. So yeah, seen a bit. Okay, so purchase all the researches that you know I I think works best, and you can see seven hundred forty thousand mana regen. So I feel like it's pretty good, and you know there's a whole bunch of these upgrades as well, and and that should also increase my mana regen. So it looks like at this point, unfortunately, I just need to wait. And okay, I actually do have a blue dragon's breath bonus at this point, and there's only four things here. Maybe uh, maybe this is important because you know i can grind some spell tiers but there's not even that many spells to grind for spell tiers anymore so and also actually one other thing is i want to excavate there's apparently there's no artifact i would have thought there's an artifact but excavating i got like one research that angry has like mana regen based on excavation so i, I, I want to do that as well and i guess i just wait at this point um Maybe I'm supposed to increase my max mana because, you know, it's generate a certain amount of mana in a game. Maybe I can even, you know, just go offline at this point. But I feel like with this, just this mana regen plus a few hours, um, I will be able to, um, you know, get the trophy, I hope. I don't know. Like, maybe I can even, like, look at my stats. Like, this reincarnation, the amount of, like, mana I've produced, it's... You can see this is the amount of mana I've produced. I'm not really sure if it's possible to get this grand balance to affect seven buildings. It's only affecting four right now. Actually, right now, I'm looking at this handy little table, and um, you can see the targets here. I think I want one and then plus, um, plus six here. This will give me seven. And I want... This is actually only two E9. I think right now I have this, um, which is four so actually that is not as hard as i thought i am so glad this table exists because i would think it, w it would be days instead of hours if this table didn't exist and also yes there is four ascensions in this game right now i know this is ridiculous i'm not even a quarter of the way through like reincarnation wise so yeah that, that's interesting and but hopefully just with a few hours, I will be able to beat the challenge, and then I can move on to the next one. I can even, you know, at the end of this application, I can even, you know, reset. <laughs> I can do my free reset for excavations for the first time ever. So, yeah, it's in a bit. Okay, so it's been a day, and we have not beaten the challenge, and I found out why. I need to have the dragon bloodline active rather than the druid bloodline. Which is so stupid. Seriously, like, oh my god. Okay, this challenge will take multiple days if I can't go Druid Line, because Druid Line is so important for mana regen. Like, where, where even is the Druid Bloodline here? It has to be somewhere. Here it is. That's a 32 times increase in mana regen. Yeah, I, I, you can see how I would need something like that. I mean, I guess there's this, which is, um... This isn't really all that good. It's, I need 2,500 Royal Exchanges. Then at least I got this, which is 6 hours Grand Balance cast time in a single game. And it seems pretty good, but yeah, this that's really annoying. I actually saved this as a research template. And yeah, we have to just do the same thing over again, except we need to go Dragon Bloodline. Because yeah, this challenge is stupid. It's, this, is, this is definitely a time wall of a challenge. Not really anything I can do about this. E10 mana in a game, and I can't go Druid Bloodline. So, yeah, here it is. It's A1R55 Dragon Mana Regen build. That's that's what I called it. I know, it's, it's kind of long-winded, but this is, like, the best I can, I can do here. So, I think I have everything. I can get Dragon's Breath going, and this is my mana regen. It's like 50, it's 15,000. At this rate, it would take a week. Yes, a week to, um, to finish this challenge. 
that's how how stupid this is. E ten mana in a game and you can't go Druid Bloodline. Wonderful. So yeah, I guess this will be the end of the episode because it's gonna take a while. <laughs> and I've heard there's actually another challenge I can do this reincarnation. And this will be next episode. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Never mind, the episode's not over because I just discovered a new strategy. And this is like you can see here, I have to be Druid as base faction and Dragon as prestige faction. However, I don't need to be Dragon as prestige faction the whole time. Which means I can take advantage of something. I can go I have to go Dragon Line, unfortunately. And I can just go, you know, Druid as normally. But then I don't need to be the Dragon Prestige Faction. And doing this allows me to do a little trick here. You can see this research, A400, it's you get your faction's bloodline effect for free. And you can see that I could just use the Druid bloodline by going Druid and just skipping the Dragon Faction. And we're, we, we have this bug again. Um, hooray. I need to reload the game. Yeah, so we have all of our buildings, and we are not going to go with the dragon faction. We will just stay with this, even even though we're gonna like skip out on stuff like Dragon's Breath, this is still going to be better. There's even some like researches I can get out like I don't think any of them are particularly good. Um but I guess you know I, I guess I can do it. Or actually I should just load this see what I can get and there's I don't, I don't really care here I guess I'll just I'll just do something that does something and, and then just do that and and do that and yeah you can see now our mana regen is actually much higher since I am not the dragon faction and doing it this way will make it take maybe 24 hours rather than a week so yeah I'm Glad I discovered this, and then I can just go Dragon Faction just to complete the challenge. And also, we already have like ten buildings here, so like that—that's not a problem at this point. So, yeah. Now, truly, hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.